Margaret Strong, toy collector. Do you have a big box of shells or a bag of marbles? Do you have a stack of comics that keep you in a safe spot? Do you keep or trade baseball cards? People who enjoy marbles, comics, pens, or stamps tend to have more than just one of these things. People who have a lot of one thing are called collectors. Lots of people collect things. They find an object they like. Then they find another and another and another. Collecting things can be a fun ho hobby. For Margaret Strong, collecting toys was a fun hobby and a lifelong job. Margaret Strong was born in 1897. When Margaret was a little girl, her mom collected artifacts from Japan. Her dad liked to collect coins. In 1907, Margaret joined her parents on a seven month trip around the world. While other girls and boys were sitting in class, Margaret was visiting all different points on the globe. She rode elephants in India. She went to museums in Japan. She ate oysters in Hong Kong. To pass the time on these trips, Margaret started to collect toys. On each trip, Margaret had a bag with her. Her mom and dad told her that she could get any toy she wanted as long as it fit into her bag. At first, Margaret had a hard time making choices. Her day of shopping would end very quickly if she filled up her bag with one big toy. Then Margaret got smart. She discovered that if she avoided big toys, she could fill her bag with lots of small toys. Margaret had turned into a collector. Time passed. Margaret had a family of her own. She had a big house and it was filled with toys. She collected pool toys and games. She collected blocks and puzzles. Margaret collected doll houses and dolls too. Margaret collected over 27,000 dolls. In fact, Margaret Strong collected so many toys in her lifetime that now there is a museum named after her. If you are interested, you can see many of Margaret Strong's toys on display at a museum called The Strong. The Strong is in Rochester, New York. It is the biggest toy museum in the world. Think about the things you enjoy collecting. Can you think of having so much that thing that you could fill up your house? Could, you, could your hobby fill a museum? Keep collecting and find out.